May 2nd. And we are planting in number three our um, colored sweet bell peppers. So what we've done was um, spaced them out two feet and staggered them. Um, they're looking excellent. So Haley is just planting down here and we will show you. So we've already pre-wet our beds and uh, she just digs down and she's just gonna plant the pepper just down a little bit further than what was planted. We normally go to where they were planted in the pots, but we're gonna try this because uh, we've seen other people do this. So she just takes it, plunks it in, and it's perfect. And again, we have our drip tape laid in, in these beds. Um, we only have one drip tape per bed in these beds because they're a lot, uh, a lot narrower. So we're gonna continue on and uh, we'll get these beds all filled and we will show you what it looks like. And there we go. The bell peppers are all planted. Um, two, three, four, we got four and a bit rows done. Um, that's all the big bell peppers we have, which there's lots. And we're gonna put in the remainder row here, we're gonna put um, my purple and whites, and then we're gonna plant our purple and whites at the front of this greenhouse. So Haley's just getting the beds marked out, but they're not ready to transplant yet. They're still a little bit behind. All right, so right now Haley and I are going around and we're um, reclipping our tomato plants, uh, which we do each week because they grow so fast. And we're also taking off the suckers. So between the main uh, stem and the branch, you'll get one that grows in between, like I call it the armpit. Um, we take them off. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna clone these because we need more of this variety. Um, and it, it really, instead of seeding and waiting for them to grow and then transplanting, this is, all, this is a quick way of doing it. So we have our scissors, which have been sterilized with um, just a light bleach solution. And what you wanna do is you wanna snip and you want a piece of, or a piece, a bowl of water. Actually, I'm gonna dump some of that out. And you wanna immediately put your uh, tomato clip sucker in there. And we're just gonna do four of these. So again, I go into where, it's hard to show here. So into the armpit, I call it. I snip off and set that in. And then another one, snip. And you just keep going until you have the amount that you want. But make sure you're only taking the suckers and not the main branches. What you do from there is we use Oasis. So the Oasis is what we use in the hydroponic house, but this is what we're gonna plant those into. So I'm just gonna give this a stop down. Put it onto there. And this really holds the water. And uh, you only put your your uh, tomato suckers in your bowl of water until you're ready to to plant them. You don't have to let them soak for any amount of time. So what I do with these is you just break these apart. They come apart very easy. These are the one inch cubes. And we'll go like that. And I'm just gonna give them a little bit more water. Make sure they're good and wet. And then you would take your cutting, I'm gonna pinch off that bottom leaf. So what we're gonna do is we take them out of the water, and actually, we're gonna use the rooting compound. You don't have to use rooting compound, this is just what we choose to do, um, but you don't have to. So I just take it, and you can get rooting compound pretty much anywhere, and I just kind of roll it around like that, and then I stick it into, so I'll pull this oasis out, and then you just stick it into the oasis, and the oasis is very soft to push. Like so, you can push. Oh, it's very. It's uh, not hard. It's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we do there. So we take another one, and I just pinch off that bottom leaf again. Put that in. Take my oasis. Put that in. And then what we will do is 
I'm just going to do these four because we've already done some. Now, what happens when you do this, a day like today isn't so bad, but on a sunny day, they will really limp. So on a day like today, overcast is much better to do it. Um, so they're, they're injured right now, right? So they're going to start to flop and they're not going to do the best. So what we do is bring them next door and we have some clean trays that we use for the Oasis flats and we will put these four cells in there with water at the bottom and you want to keep it moist. So we will be right back and I'll show you that. Okay, so here we have, um, we planted 200 of these and uh, this is what we do. So we take this tray, this is the tray I was talking about that goes into the uh, hydroponic house with the flats of these, of the Oasis. And we have a lot of water in here. Let me show you. Oh, he's got them in into trays as well. So we have a lot of water at the bottom. You want to make sure that they're always wet. And we did a makeshift uh, hoop house here. And then we take our plastic when we first clip them for about the first, I don't know, four days, just till they start feeling better, we cover them with plastic. You want to keep them in a darker room. That's why it's so dark in here. This is just our little front building. Um, because you don't want to put them in direct sunlight. They can be in a window, not in direct sunlight though, but in a window where there's a little bit more light, but keep them covered at first. And uh, then you can take the covers off after you think that they're healthy enough. Now you can see these ones were done just over a week ago, I think. Yeah, about that, eh? And they're already starting to pop roots through. And every single one is healthy every single one we didn't lose any so it's a great way to um, clone your clone your uh, tomato plants so we just wanted to show you that and uh, hopefully you try it out if there's a uh, something that you want to uh, favorite tomato or whatever actually you can clone pretty much anything that has that sucker that you can take off um, yeah so that's that and uh, we will be back probably show you next week when they're really rooted and then we can transplant them and uh, show you what to look or how much root to look for whenever when they're ready what will happen actually is this whole oasis will be covered in root and then you just completely plunk this into your soil so just lots of water not direct sunlight and uh, cover with plastic for the first few days until they're better just like a human when you're sick you're you need rest, and that's what these these plants need. So, anyhow, we just thought we'd share that with you, and that's how we clone. Okay, and for those of you who don't know um, about suckering your tomato plants, it's very important that you do this. So, in between the, I'm going to show them this one here. In between the leaf and the stalk, yeah, the armpit, I call it. <laughs> you get a second um, yep. tomato plant. That's the ones that we clone. So we take all of them off. Um, this will help the growth of your plant tremendously. And it's not gonna be taking, all the suckers do are, t they take off, or they take all the energy out of the, out okay. of the plant. Pardon me? The main plant. The main plant, yeah. That's why their leaves are so bad. At the bottoms? Yeah. Yeah. So their leaves are starting to yellow. Um, but so we have to get these suckers off and then we're clipping as we go too. So there, they've really grown. And then she clips the clip on, which you can see and we show how to do that in one of our, uh, what is it called, that video? Um, stringing, no stringing, oh, stringing. yes. Yeah. It was just a couple weeks ago, stringing um, our raised, beds, raised bed tomatoes. So we're gonna continue on with this. We have to get these all done. And uh, then on to something else another time. So we'll see you all later. See us.